Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Purple Penny uh, video. My name is Mark, I own and run uh, along my wife Catherine the Purple Penny. We're a small bricks and mortar coin dealer in the northern suburbs of Adelaide, about a 15 minute drive or a 10 minute train ride north of Adelaide. Uh, coming up to our fourth birthday here, we turn four at this shop in the uh, middle of May. Hello Mike there with the extra apostrophes, how are you going? Uh, let's say a few hellos here to people, thank you everyone for joining in today. Hello Paul, John, Alex, Patrick, Jason, Christine, uh, Glenn, Wendy, Philip and Ogie. Good to see you could join us this week Philip and Kay, hello everyone. Uh, last week in the shop was uh, it was an excellent week in the shop last week uh, we, we weren't very busy in terms of sales or purchasing which is fine because Catherine and I and Jared have been uh, working our way, our way through a lot of inventory that we've built up in the last few years and uh, that has been appearing on our website and out in the shop it's great to uh, work through some of that stuff because it does build up over time uh, those of you who have uh, watched our Facebook this morning would have seen a uh, a post up this morning about some interesting emails that we've had in the last couple of weekends. So there's been a few references to that in the comments here already. I do uh, thank Mike and Alex for sharing that humour with me. Alex, thank you there for your asterisks. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, please head over to our Facebook after this video finishes and you'll see the post over there. Uh, hello Catherine, thanks for joining in. Uh, let me just scroll to the bottom of the comments here, make sure we're on top of everything. Steve, Carolyn, Greg, Peter, John, Sandy and Rapid Bay, I hope you're having a good time over there Sandy. Uh, Christine and Kevin and Ben and Pauline, so hello everyone, and Tanya, hello, thank you everyone for joining in today. Right, news for the week, there's a bit of going on, a bit going on this week as you probably know. Uh, today is release day for two coloured Australian Antarctic 50 cent coins, and you're probably wondering if today's release day why they're not available, uh, it's because we think it's some sort of corporate minting deal that the RAM has entered into with a, uh, a coin dealer in Western Australia. As such, uh, the Mint, I believe, has a very small allocation to sell, and we've been dealing directly with the coin dealer in Western Australia. Uh, we've been told we're getting an allocation of them. Uh, the communication around when we'd be getting those, and the invoice, and so on and so forth, is a bit vague. So we do hope to have those available in the next few weeks, but we are completely not sure when that is going to happen. There was also some investment coins released today. I don't know what they are exactly, but I believe you can jump onto the Mint website and grab hold of those. This Thursday is RAM release day for the month, and of course there are two coins being released this Thursday. We've got both coins themed around 50 years since the end of Australia's involvement in the Vietnam War. There's a C Mint Mark coin on a card, and for the first time there's a, a C Mint Mark silver proof $2 coin. There is no roll. Uh, there are no other products being released this Thursday. Uh, we will not have any available on our website. Uh, we make no apologies for the fact that uh, we do take people's interest in all of those coins and uh, we support the people that support us and we'll talk about that a little bit later today. Uh, but there will be some available uh, for direct pickup over the counter in the store on Thursday. And uh, if you watch the video next week, you may have an opportunity to get your hands on one next week, that Vietnam C Mint Mark coin. Uh, if you really want the silver coin, I suggest you jump onto the Rams website on release day and try and grab it off of there because we only got a tiny number of those. I think that's going to be the one to chase. This weekend is Easter. We will be closed from Good Friday uh, right through the Easter weekend. Uh, we thought we might be able to open on Saturday, but the new holiday trading rules here in South Australia, which the current government introduced uh, a few months ago, specifically exclude coin dealers from opening on public holidays. 
which I don't know whether to feel special about that or whether to feel set upon because there really is only two coin dealers in Adelaide and the fact that uh, us and Jerry at uh, at the toss of a coin down in Brighton have been singled out in the new trading rules as being told that we're not allowed to open uh, is is pretty remarkable really. So do not come in here on Saturday and try and, uh, and uh, buy something from us because we won't be here. We will be opening as usual next Wednesday at 10 a.m. So uh, that's that's the Easter closure for this weekend. Now, news for the week. I did have a bit of a laugh about this one uh, because the for whatever reason the ABC shared an archival story from from 1989 on their website, uh, and you can see there it was the story was about a Perth Mint employee who in 1988 uh, decided that he would steal coins from the Perth Mint and the way he did that was by cutting the finger off of gloves and he was putting the coins in, into those fingers and then putting them in his mouth and walking out of the Perth Mint with them in his mouth. Uh, he got away with uh, up to 80 coins it's believed. Uh, the last time he did it he got caught and he actually swallowed the five coins that he had in his mouth and uh, for those of you who are digestively inclined it took three weeks for those coins to pass through his system probably too much detail for lunchtime but there you go now why did he do it he did it because he had been uh, unemployed for three months the preceding year he was unhappy with his rate of pay at the Perth Mint and he needed to pay off his drug dealer so he smuggled out the 80 gold coins uh, in his mouth. He then passed the gold coins on to his drug dealer's son. His, the drug dealer's son took them into the Perth Mint, sold them back to the Perth Mint, and the drug dealer and the dodgy employee split the proceeds 50-50 on uh, the gold coins. And for his... Uh, as a reward for his efforts, he got 18 months jail. Um, interesting story. Uh, those of you who've been around for a while might remember that a Royal Australian Mint employee was jailed after filling his boots with $2 coins, his steel cap boots, and walking out through the metal detector with $2 coins in his boots. So, uh, yeah, Mint employees and stealing coins, it's really a thing. It's really a thing. Thank you to the ABC for the image that I've shared with you there. Next news item is, we'll just jump back to the slides here, is uh, another mother uh, metal detecting find. This one in the UK. And we'll just pop up this here. Now, apologies for the sparsity of detail here because I couldn't find uh, too much information about this, but a gentleman uh, metal detected two gold coins from the 17th century in a field. Uh, took them home and then decided to go back the next day and detected another 12 gold coins. Now the coins all dated as I said from the 17th century uh, so there was a hoard of 14 coins. They were found in a field near Lansdowne Hill which was the site, and I've made a typo there, the site of a battle in the English Civil War in 1643 and uh, these are being auctioned at the moment on Dick's Noonan Web uh, at the moment being tomorrow. There's 14 lots on Dick Noonan Webb there. You can see the coins as found on the right there, and there's one of the coins on the left there that is being auctioned. They're expected to fetch uh, 24,000 pounds plus, which is getting up to $50,000 for the 14 coins. They all date from 1606 to 1643, and of course 1643 was the year of the battle at Lansdowne Hill. So some of these coins were virtually mint state when they were buried. And the auctioneer from Dick's Noonan Webb uh, postulated the idea that perhaps a, uh, a royalist officer uh, took these coins from his purse and buried them, thinking that he would uh, retrieve them after the battle. And perhaps that, uh, that person was killed during the battle and never came back to retrieve these coins. And they've been sitting there for the last uh, 380 years, waiting to be discovered. The denominations of the gold coins are quite interesting. 
Uh, the denominations are a unite, a laurel, a half laurel, and a double crown. Now, I've heard of the unite before, but the laurel, the half laurel, and the double crown I've not heard of before. The unite is 20 shillings or 22 shillings. They did change the uh, fineness of that coin during the 1600s. The so laurel is 20 shillings, and the half laurel and double crown are both 10 shilling gold coins. So quite a remarkable uh find there 14 gold coins in uh, in one gold field and interesting link back to british history i'll just say a few more hellos here uh hello daryl hello ash hello adam ben says you better get unlimited amounts of everything in well we're not getting unlimited amounts of everything in uh, unfortunately on thursday we're getting what we're getting uh, hello gloria and her asthmatic cat. Hello, Daryl Fox. Mike says the Ram has released the Emperor, Penguin, and Queensland COA investment coins today. Hello, Trina. Mike says that the phones fell over at 8.30 at the Mint. Hello, Gwen. Paul says uh, asterisk, 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 you can't, asterisk, asterisk, can't, star, 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 open, star, star, on, yeah, anyway, so lots of foul language there, thanks, Paul. No, we're not opening on Easter Saturday, not allowed. Uh, Tanya says the Perth Mint coins are definitely not unk, that's right. Hello, Darren, welcome to the live stream. Hello, Stephen, hello, Andrew, hello, Ray, how are you going? Thanks, everyone, for joining in today. Right, jump back to the news here. It was April Fool's Day uh, a few days ago, and of course on social media all the April Fool's Day jokes uh, were doing the rounds, including uh, one Facebook page suggested that Mint had released uh, 2022 Poppy Ram Rolls, which most people seemed to understand was just a joke, but there were a few people that uh, thought it was a real thing and were fossicking around trying to figure out where to buy them, including a couple of people that contacted us asking if we were getting any stock. I do enjoy a bit of an April Fool's Day coin thing, but here's the best one that I saw, which was on a website called uh, Dredging Today, which is a, uh, a dredging industry web page. I'll just pop that up here, if I can figure out how to do it. Here we go there. So uh, Dredging Today had a news article up saying that uh, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineer was, Engineers were dredging the harbour at Charleston, and they discovered several clay jars with gold coins while dredging. Uh, the gold coins are being evaluated by a local university, uh, but they had found marks on the outside of the jars that were consistent with well-known pirate Captain April McFalls, who was a, lead, uh, a lieutenant of Blackbeard. So uh, quite a high-quality article there, constructed specifically for April Fool's Day. I don't know where they stole the images from. Uh, but someone at Dredging today has a good sense of humour and uh, and uh, shared that with the world and did make me chuckle when I saw that. So ha April Fool's Day, what a day. Right, topic of the day is how to get new release mint product. It is difficult and has become more difficult since the passing of the Queen and those of you who have been around for a few months would know that the poppy release in November last year was probably the most difficult $2 coin to uh, obtain. Now, as I said, we make no apologies for the fact that we support the customers that support us. So uh, as you would know, we do ask for expressions of interest for new release products and we take people's names and when we get allocated enough material then we do make those available for those people who have registered uh, with us now we have uh, upwards of a thousand people that regularly register their needs with us and it is unfortunate that we do not get enough stock to meet everyone's requirements and if you are new to collecting it might be interesting for me to explain just how the mint determines what material we get uh, the Mint has what they call year-long products, such as Mint sets, proof sets, uh, baby Mint sets, baby proof sets, those sorts of things that are available for the whole year, uh, Mint mark sets and things like that. Uh, they are what determines uh, how much of the limited product we get. So, for example, if we were to spend, I don't 
we don't spend a million dollars with the mint but let's say we spent a million dollars on mint sets with the mint uh, the mint would work out how many mint sets they'd sold to all dealers put together that million dollars would be proportioned against that and then we get allocated that proportion of the limited release products such as two dollar coins and two dollar rolls and things like that so you know number one when we ask for you know let's say we ask for a thousand two dollar c mint mark coins we're not going to get them we're not going to get that many the number that we actually do get is determined by what proportion of uh, the mint's total sales we actually buy and that proportion is dependent on products other than two dollar coins it is largely dependent on mint sets and baby sets and mint mark sets and those sorts of things lunar coins those sorts of things that are available through the whole year that uh, don't sell out really quickly now what does that mean it means that and, and again I make no apologies for this if you come into us and you buy all of your baby sets and proof sets and things like that off of us then when it comes time to uh, look at our interest list for $2 coins and I can tell you right now that we could have sold what we got allocated in the $2 coins the C Mint Mark Vietnam coin and the silver C Mint Mark Vietnam coin we could have sold them 10 times over what we got allocated obviously we can't do that so we go through our list and we allocate them to people that have supported us uh, if you wander in here and uh, tell us that you've been down the post office buying your mint sets and your proof sets and your baby sets and things like that when they're sitting on our shelf there then uh, obviously we are not going to look at that very favorably and we will allocate those two dollar coins to people that have supported us now by supporting us with those mint sets and baby sets and things like that that will give us more two dollar coins to sell and that's the key thing to understand uh, is that the more proof sets and baby sets and things you buy off of us the more two dollar coins we can get uh, if we don't sell the proof sets and mint sets then we don't get any two dollar coins uh, that, that's as simple as it is uh, and the other way that uh, you can show your support for us is not by reselling things that you buy off of us on Facebook if we see you reselling what you're buying off of us on Facebook uh, we don't look on that favorably either we want those coins to go to collectors we don't want them to go to resellers so uh, you know just Catherine and I are very very active on social media we do see what's going on uh, so please don't uh, especially people that we sell, see selling boxes of stuff that they're buying from somewhere else uh, you know we just don't look on that favorably at all right what are some points that you can use to try and get your hold hand on new releases? Firstly, know what's coming. Now, what does that mean? It means that you need to know what is coming up from the mint to be able to tell us that you're interested in it. And you need to know it in good time. There is no point ringing us up on release day. There is no point ringing us up today. Uh, we have already finalized our numbers for Thursday we have already finalized them it takes several hours for us to work through all the requests and things like that and get them all sorted sorted out allocate stock for sales over the counter keep track of all the interest lists and Catherine getting ready for postage we cannot take interest re record interest just a few days before release it's too late now how do you know what's being released watch these videos I talk about it as soon as we know uh, at least four weeks beforehand the mint usually announces it three or four weeks beforehand other Facebook pages announce it three or four weeks beforehand if they if you are interested in getting new releases then put your ear to the ground and uh, find out what's coming up find out what's coming up the second thing to do is to build a relationship and that's building a relationship with a dealer and not necessarily us there are coin dealers all around Australia. There's coin dealers with shops. There's coin dealers who just operate online. What do I mean by building a relationship? I mean supporting that dealer, not messing them around, you know, supporting them by buying, as I already said, baby sets, unk sets, things like that. Supporting them by buying product from them as opposed to buying it from the post office or buying it directly from the mint. I understand sometimes it is convenient to buy things from the post office or directly from the mint but you know uh, we need support as well uh, we don't make a lot of money out of stuff that we sell resell from the mint uh, and uh, it is 
disappointing for us when we don't have enough product to supply to people and we rely on your support to be able to do that. How else can you build a relationship? By showing up and picking up what it is that you are interested in. By not being abrasive on release day. By trying to be a little bit understanding that we are just doing our best. Uh, and by not reselling what you buy off of us. Uh, that's That for us, for Catherine and I, is a big no-no. Uh, how else can you get hold of them? You know, get in the queue on the Mint's website on release day. I mean, that's that's it at the end of the day. Sometimes that is the only choice that you have. Get in the queue. I understand that it happens during working hours, uh, but that is life. That's how the Mint works. Get, on, get in the queue and hopefully their website holds up and their queue holds up and you manage to get hold of what you want. Uh, get on the phone to the Mint. Be polite. Uh, you know, it, it, we're at the point now with a lot of these $2 coins that collecting them takes real effort and that effort falls on you. Uh, you know, you need to ring around and all those sorts of things prior to release day, trying to uh, express your interest with as many dealers as possible. Uh, don't ring us on release day. If you ring us on release day, the answer will be no. Uh, we do not. We do not take holds over the phones on release day. We do not take purchases over the phone on release day. Uh, if you want to buy things off of us, they're either on our website, which this week they won't be, or you need to show up here at the shop. Prior to release day, get on the phone, uh, email dealers, talk to them on Facebook, okay? Be polite, express to them what it is that you are interested in, and hopefully they'll put you on a list and uh, you'll be able to work something out with them. Uh, Dealers that I know definitely have an interest list. Uh, Shane from Newcastle Coins. I know that he keeps track of people on uh, on Facebook. So, you know, if you can't work something out with us, go to Shane at Newcastle Coins. He gets an allocation. I believe Max Stern do it as well. You know, there are a few dealers around. You've got to talk to as many as you can. Uh, take a risk. What does that mean? It means that we don't know a lot of the time what the new releases look like. We don't know what they look like until release day many times. Uh, we don't necessarily know what the vintage is. We don't know if it's going to be popular. Uh, so if you come in here, and, and this happens quite a lot, three weeks before release day, and you say, oh, well, I'm not really sure about that. I'll just wait for release day and see what happens. It is too late. Okay, It is too late on release day to try and get hold of some of these products. Uh, I try to tell you prior to release day what I believe is going to be the most popular release on release day uh, and between me and Catherine and the viewers here we do a pretty good job of picking out what's going to be popular so you know sometimes you do need to take a risk put your name down and commit to the purchase uh, that's the other thing of course is that if you put your name down for an EOI and uh, find out that what you put your name down for isn't popular and then back out of this back out of the purchase that's fine you can back out of the purchase uh, because obviously we can't take payment beforehand but uh, you know we're not going to look on that too happily the next time you contact us uh, asking you to put your name down for things uh, as I said we get limited stock for this sort of stuff we spend a lot of time organizing lists and recording entries and answering emails and things like that to make sure we're on top of it all and if you jerk us around, then, you know, we're not going to look on that too favorably. Right, the last point here is release day is too late. Release day is too late. This goes back to the first point about knowing what's coming. If you are a, a dedicated coin collector, you will know what's coming up in advance. And if you're only finding out on release day, then it is going to be too late. I am expecting many, many phone calls on Thursday about the Silver Sea Mint Mark coin. And the answer will be, it is too late. They are all gone. No, we don't have any. No, there will be no more. So, you know, release day is too late. So, you know, my, my probably top five tips for getting hold of mint product is build a relationship with a dealer or multiple dealers. Uh, be polite with the dealer, be consistent with the dealer, purchase other stuff off of the dealer and don't just show up every time there's a $2 coin. Uh, be prepared, that means keeping track of what is coming up soon and getting your requests in with dealers prior, well prior to release day 
and committing that time to getting on to the Mint's website on release day and sitting there in the queue. I understand, as I've already said, that that is during work hours and for some people they can't do that, but at this point, that's all we can do. That's all you can do. That's all the Mint can offer. Uh, there's no there's no one solution fits all. Uh, and I do feel for the Mint, they are in a difficult situation. That's it. So release day on Thursday, if you come here, will be a limited amount of stock available over the counter, a limit of one per person. Uh, we will not have any up on our website. Uh, we will not be allocating any to anyone who rings up over the phone there'll be no holds uh, if you watch the video next monday there will be uh, an opportunity to get your hands on some then we have put aside a very small number for video viewers and i do wish you best of luck on thursday if you are trying to get hold of the coins and uh you know please don't get stressed out about it uh, they are just coins don't don't get too upset over it if uh, if you don't get what you're after right let's have a look at the comments here Alex says to build a relationship with a dealer you have to take them out to dinner okay I like uh, I like Thai food Alex uh, what are you doing on Friday uh, Cristala uh, <laughs> Scott says will these new silver sea mint mark two dollar coins be incredibly popular I think that they will be I think uh, it will go off go off this Thursday uh, we got a very small number of them, a ridiculously small number of them, and they're going to be incredibly difficult to obtain. So if you can get your hands on one, by all means, try to get your hands on one. Uh, Ash says, nothing worthwhile is easy. That's right. And I think a lot of the time, the people that get upset the most about not being able to get the new release coins are the people who see uh, the potential for flipping in them, them and, uh, you know, for the poppy release in November, we only got one person that got upset with us and he was definitely going to sell the product. He just wanted the money for it and he got incredibly upset with us that we'd run out of stock. Uh, thanks, Daryl, uh, for the shout out to Catherine and uh, Jared. It's much appreciated. Thank you, Adam, for saying we do a good job. That's much appreciated. Uh, Jason, do you think they'll start bringing out silver sea mints for the upcoming $2 coins? Jason, if it is as hot this Thursday, that coin as I'm expecting it to be, I can almost guarantee that the Mint will make more. If they sense the ability to create a product that has demand, then they will do so. You know, in the usual way that I've seen them do this in the past is, past is that they'll release it a few times with a mintage of 5,000, which I believe is the mintage for this one. Then they'll up it to 10,000, and then it'll be 12,500 until it stops selling out. So I suspect that we can see, we'll see that again. Uh, Patrick says, unfortunately, some people buy and sell to make a profit, just like the 2022 poppy, which made it impossible for some of us to afford. Uh, yes, Patrick, it's true. I don't, we don't uh, deny that people do that, and we don't feel, you know, we, we have no qualms if people do that. I mean, it's 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 a free free economy here, but. Uh, as I've said many times, we do try to make sure that our coins get into the hands of collectors. And if we see you selling stuff on social media, then uh, you won't be getting anything from us because we want it to go into the hands of collectors, not into the hands of resellers. And that's not to stop you from making a living. It's just to make sure that the people who are going to appreciate the coins for what they are uh, get their hands on them. So it's nothing more than that. Greg says, please join us for the gravy train this Friday on the Purple Penny Presents competition. No worries, Greg. Uh, no worries, Gloria. No worries, Andrew. No worries, Tanya. Uh, no worries, Ray. Not a problem for that. And Andrew, yes, you're a great customer, mate. We see Andrew all the time in here. And he started coming in here with his sister. I think it's your sister, Andrew. Apologies if it's not your sister. Right, that's it for this week. Good luck, everyone, on Thursday. Uh, if we don't see you on Thursday, hear from you on Thursday, have a safe long weekend, please be safe when you're driving, uh, don't do anything stupid or anything like that, I would be very upset if one of our viewers didn't come back uh, from the long weekend because of a car accident, uh, and we'll see you on a video on Monday, and please if you are watching on Monday, as I said, we'll have a small number of the Vietnam coins available for video viewers uh, at release price. Happy collecting everyone, bye for now and we'll see you next time.